yo, uh, everybody. You know, the main reason I listen to Fallout Shelter is because I can't sing or dance. My boys, Trick and Dino, they drew first blood, not me. Out on Wall Street, the bankers are the law, but out here in the podcast world, it's Trick and Tino. So, uh, I was wondering if, uh, you guys wouldn't mind listening very much, you know. Yo, Adrian! Get your eyes in here, you filthy animal, so we can listen to Fallout Shelter. Hey, yo, Paulie! Get in here, you dumb dago! Fallout Shelter is about to start. Okay, Mick. Cut me. Hey, it's that Sly, everybody. Sly. Sly Rock. Getting deep. Like that. <laughs> I can't even do it. He's so punch drunk. You know? I know, man. You know what's funny about Sylvester Stallone is like way back, like his English has got a little better. Yeah. <laughs> the years. Yeah. And it's funny because the guy's from fucking like New York, right? And if you cannot understand that guy, like he's got such a deep voice. Wow. I know when I run a lot of gear, like a lot of testosterone, my voice is like super deep and crackly. Yeah. But, yeah. like, he's, I don't know, maybe back in the day he was running a lot of fucking gear or something because, man, you can't you can't understand him. No, he was ripped after that third, was it the third Rocky where he fights uh, the yeah. Russian? He yeah, ripped. Rip. Well, he was on some serious juice. Yeah, I know he used to really like Trendlin back in the day. Yeah. So, I mean, that'll definitely get you, get you yeah. all cut up. And he, he's Ooh. one of the guys, yeah, he's one of the guys that I saw when I would bartend in Vegas. He's one of the guys that are so small. Like, you can't believe how short he is. Oh, no, I know he is. Yeah, he's, he has, he totally has Napoleon syndrome because yeah. he won't even let, now, obviously, this is like tabloid shit, but I mean, you read some stuff in these, I don't know, I don't I wouldn't call it news or anything like that, yeah. but it's like, he won't, like, you, you can't look him in the eye. You know, oh, he's like just a such a prick. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I've and I've heard quite a few things. I've heard quite a few things about the guy that it's just like I just he's I think he's a total piece of shit. But you know really? what? He's he's Stallone. And and that's yeah. why Arnold Schwarzenegger used to he used to bust like Sly's balls all the yeah. time. You know, yeah. call him tiny yeah. and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, Arnold's kind of a cock when he was a oh, he was totally. in his younger days, like in Pumping Iron. Yeah, man, that's he such just a totally good clowned everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah so funny, funny, man. Yeah, yeah, so good. So, I'll let well, you want to just do movie reviews tonight, or <laughs> yeah, no yeah. shitty. <laughs> well, everyone, welcome to uh, Follow Shelter with Trick and Tino, episode fourteen. Tonight we are going to be discussing size, not the size down below, folks, but the size of your positions, okay? I think that they, that it's something that, uh, you know, I got a lot of thoughts on the subject and a lot of, you know, I guess opposite to, to mainstream. Um, you know, a lot of people, they'll, they show their size, they, they're showing their P&L, there's, there's one nut, we all know who, and I mean, he's, he's trading like over 100,000, sometimes 200,000 shares a day, and He's got a relatively small account. You guys got to keep that in mind. I know you guys all think he's got a big account. He doesn't. Um, but anyways, um, you know, so that's, that's one of the reasons. I did put a tweet out today, and I, I shorted Apple, and then in another account, I longed Apple. And I used extremely small size, uh, leveraged it through options contracts, and, you know, made 6800 bucks. right? That's awesome, and, man. But the thing is, though, Tino, it's like that's a relatively small position for, for and and P and L for what I've been getting lately. The reason why I posted it and the reason why I don't usually post P and Ls is because I really do. I find it detrimental to a new trader's career. I find that they want to try and catch up, so to speak. They they rush things. They're like, oh man, like fuck. If I if I took the same trade, but if I would have just taken that much size, I could have made that much. No, you wouldn't have. You would have freaked out on the first dip right. and, and you would have sold. Okay. Yeah. You don't have the emotional maturity in order to in in order to handle size. Okay. Yeah. You won't you won't hold through pullbacks. 
you'll get freaked out over every red candle. So that's why what makes trick trades different. And because number one, I tell people to just size the fuck down. Well, you're learning. There's no point in trying to make money while you're learning. You're not going to, you won't. Okay. So, so get the process down first. Use extremely small size, 100 shares. Okay, that 100 shares is too big for you. You, you, you still stop out where, you, where you're just taking an emotional uh, sell or cover. And so then you got to size down some more. I tell people, folks, and I'll give you a little tip here, okay? Now, you're in too big if your heart is palpitating, okay? If your heart's racing, you're in too big. Now, I've said that before to people, and then they laugh, and they say, well, I only have like 50 shares. I don't care. Size down. Listen to your fucking bodies, guys and girls. Listen to your bodies. If, you're, if you are under stress like that, and when your heart's racing, it's under stress. You, emotionally, you're, you're, you're batty. You're, you're all batty. You, 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 you can't handle it. And there's nothing wrong with not being able to handle it right now. Money's on the line, okay? And it's funny because, you know, we can all go to a, I don't know, a grocery store, go out for dinner. Fuck, I use the bulk barn as an example and spending like two or $300 on fucking candy and bullshit, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? And it's funny because we have no problems spending money on stuff or even like, I don't know, some fucking home stereo equipment that you don't fucking need. I mean, you already have yeah. one. This one's a, just a year newer and you got no problems dropping five, six, a grand on it. Yeah. Right. But when it comes to trading, for some reason, there's such an emotional connection to that, that if you start seeing that, you know, your position is down, like, I don't know, 50 bucks, hundred bucks. You start freaking out. Like I see this shit on Twitter all the time with a lot of new traders they they'll post a loss and it's like a hundred dollar loss on the day and it's like oh i took a really big loss fuck that no you didn't no you didn't you didn't it's a hundred bucks the reason why you're thinking it's a big loss is because you're so emotionally attached to it guys you, you will not i'm telling you fucking listen to me right now man you won't you won't make it you got it you gotta size down so size down like today like I was talking about with that Apple trade, um, scooped it off the double bottom, just like I fucking tell you guys, how many video free video lessons have I done? How many times have we talked about it on the podcast, guys? Hey, uh, Pat, just for reference, today is uh, the 23rd Monday, so in case people want to just look at the chart. Um, and, um, the chart. you know, I was just about to say that, motherfucker, and now you <laughs> fucked up my flow. Sorry, God buddy. Tino. You were talking about Do the you double see, bottom. guys? Do you see the shit I've got to deal with with this Greek <laughs> motherfucker? God. I totally That's fucked it. you up, Fuck didn't it. I? Fuck it. I quit. I quit. <laughs> Sorry, man. You son of a bitch. Double so anyways, bottom. On this, on, this, on, the, <laughs> on, on the double bottom there, you know, which is, man, I, I talk about that all the time. All the time, right? So... I took very small size, and if if you took a look at the P and L, um, I think the last time I screenshot it was like four or five grand or something like that. But I'm not going to screenshot it again. I closed it at the end of the day, uh, or not? Sorry, it was right after that tweet. It started it started squeezing up some more and closed it for sixty eight hundred and ten dollars. I mean, that that's a nice win. It, it's a nice gain, and the thing is. I had no risk, you guys. Like, you need to understand proper risk reward. That double bottom, do you realize how minimal of risk there is with that setup? Nothing. It can't hurt yeah. you. Here's the thing, guys. I could take, now let's say it was, it's not even a good setup, okay? Which it is. That's not true. It is. It's a badass setup and it works fucking probably 70 to 80% of the time, okay? But let's say it sucked, Let's say it sucked, but the risk reward is so good. Your win percentage is another thing that people, there's a big misconception about. Your win loss percentage don't mean shit. It doesn't. It's your risk reward. Okay. So you can, you can have a shitty win loss percentage. Okay. 
So let's say, for example here, folks, that it, you only win like, I don't know, 30% of the time, 40% of the time. But if your risk reward is so good that on a, you know, a $200 stock like Apple, you're only risking about 10, 20 cents, okay, which is phenomenal. That's some people stop on a penny stock, but that's our type of stops on a big board stock. You know, and to make those type of gains, you can lose over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it wouldn't matter because all it would take is one or two trades like I did today. And you guys may be thinking, oh, wow, that's, 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 that's huge. No, but the thing is, it, it, it wasn't that. It's not huge, guys. It's not huge. That's a small, it's a small position. It's a small position. Would I want you guys to take as much size as I did on that? Uh, just starting and learning this? No, no, definitely not. But it's not big. It's definitely not big. That's about, about a quarter the size of my full size with an options trade. And the reason why I was using small size is because the market was, that's right. I just fucking interrupted you, Tino. I heard you were about to pipe up and I interrupted you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this guy. Gonna, this he's not even here forth. anymore. He's this not even here anymore. All night. We're, we're going at it, man. <laughs> so with the market was kind of acting up a little bit and that's why I didn't go in full size. Had I went in full size on a trade like that, instead of that $6,810, that would have been, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 maybe yeah, a little bit more, which is, that's pretty, I don't, I'm, it's definitely not uncommon for me these days. So, you know, it, the market doesn't know your size. A lot of people like to say, what were you going to say? Face? No, I was just going to say, <laughs> 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 oh man, I, I'm just going to start telling these people the, the truth here about <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> anyway, no, I'm just looking at the chart, you know, and uh, if you would have played that double bottom, you had um, 12 cent risk. Yeah, <clears throat> there you go, right? That's it. 12 cent risk. And what was on the equity side? On the equity side, how much could have they made? Uh, they would have made... How many points? Uh, one and three quarter points. Almost two points. Actually, Almost two actually points. where you got out? Yeah. A little over two points. Yeah, two points. A little over two points where I got out. Okay. Off of 12 cents of risk. Yeah. Do the that, math folks. Think about yeah. the, the, the risk reward on that one. It's, it's massive. What is that? A 20 to one. Yeah. It's insane. Right. Yeah. And that, that today, the Apple, the chart on Apple today followed the spy perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, that's the thing, because they follow the spy, you can use it to your advantage. But the reason, like I said, the reason why I didn't go in full size on this one here this morning was um, uh, because the market, it just, man, it was trading really strange this morning. You know, it just didn't know. It didn't know what the fuck it wanted to do, man. So, you know, based off of that setup, I got no pro problems hitting it with, you know, couple hundred contracts, something like that, hundred contracts, 200 contracts, something like that. But that for you guys just starting out, I wouldn't recommend that because you could have taken, um, I don't know, five contracts on that and made some really good, really nice money on that, by the way. Yeah. You know, absolutely. You could have made like, I don't know, a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks with like no money in. Like you guys do realize those contracts when I bought them, fuck, what were they? Hold on. One sec. Yeah, 62 cents. Wow. That well, no, that's not right where I entered. That was the average size, sorry. That's yeah. the average. But you know, somewhere around there, right? Yeah. So I mean 60 cents. So it's it's you know, it's it's fuck all. I mean, it's not a lot of money in, and and you could have made some some decent money, right? Yeah. And you know, this goes back to what we talked about over the last few podcasts where people are brainwashed into thinking, you know, it's the thousand share position they have to take. Yeah. You can only make money with thousand position or thousand shares or more, you know, and why do people turn their heads at a hundred dollar gain? A hundred dollars a day 
if you can do that, that's 500 bucks a week. That's two grand a month. That's extra 25 grand a year. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. An extra 25 K a year and okay. And that's only a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's only, yeah, that's only a hundred bucks. So let's say on average you made 200, right? Which is definitely doable because you're going to definitely hit a couple few home runs throughout the year and everything else to make up and average out for your losses. Okay. So there you go. That's 50 K, right? Yeah. 50 K extra a year working from home a couple hours a day. How much more do you guys need? So don't try and keep up to these guys, these fucking frauds and phonies and, yeah. and sharks and charlatans. And, it's not real life, man. No, I'm telling you, it's, it's not. It's not. Don't, you know, and that's why I have such a problem posting my PN. I'm not going to post my fucking, my 20K wins, my 40K wins. I have no desire to, because you guys aren't there yet. It, it means nothing to you. What, what the fuck does that mean to you? doesn't mean anything to you the the dangerous part of that what happens with all these other uh furus gurus whatever you want to call them is they keep posting that shit and it makes these newbies or even seasoned traders see that and they yeah. get dollar signs in their eyes and then they they want to go all in and they want to get to that point yeah they, they want it instant gratification yeah. you know and it, that's not real life people it's not no you know, and there's nothing better than, than success than when you, you earned it. Yeah. You, you learned the skill and over a year you built it up and you've seen, and let's just say your account grows in a year, 10 grand. Look back. You just made 10 grand on something that you did on your own. Now you're becoming more independent. Yeah. Now you're being more confident about this skill you're going to carry the rest of your life. And yeah. that's not even with sizing up. Now wait until you start sizing up with confidence. Yeah, there you go, guys. You know? It's not like, you know, I think people think I'm, I'm, I'm always telling to people to only trade with 100 and 200 shares. No, fuck no. What kind of fucking fun is that? It takes time, though. Do it over time, you know. I see so many people throw up these uh, these memes and these inspirational quotes and and these quotes that they hear, but they don't follow them themselves. Especially yeah. the one that this is a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, it is a fucking marathon, but do you actually know what that means? Don't be in a fucking rush. You know, you got you got new traders that are taking big thousand dollar, two thousand dollar hits, right? And they're posting shit like that. You're not, you're not even listening to your own advice. Yeah. You know, you're just another guy posting shit that becomes so, it just doesn't even matter anymore because it is, it starts losing its, its worth when you start posting shit like that and you don't follow it. It really is a marathon guys. Yeah. You know, so many people are in a rush. Like I've, I've got quite a few people in the room and I just tell them like, well, if you have that mentality, I can't help you period. I mean, you know, I build and breed successful traders that are going to do this the rest of their lives. If you're in, in it for a quick buck, don't fucking come to my room. I want nothing to do with you. I don't want guys that are in it for alerts and, and for, for the money. Okay. I, I don't want that in my room. That breeds bad mentality. Yeah. All right. You know, that goes back. I'm glad you brought that up because it goes back to something that we've preached for the last couple uh, podcasts and that's quit trying to grab that money and think about building a skill. You know what I mean? Yeah. And building that confidence because that's what it's about. I'm still playing small size and I've been with Pat since November. I'm still playing small size. He's in no rush. What no. for? No. And I tell you what, you know, and, and even revert back to our, you know, the summertime blues podcast we had where, you know, it's slow. I'm trying different things out. I'm in the swing trade right now. I stalked it. You know, you brought up MIC last week. Did you look at that daily chart on MIC? That thing is looking so tasty to get into the gap. And there's a good 20 points that it could go. Now, I went in MIC, super small size, because I just want to see if it'll get in the gap and go. And it's just, it's busted through the last couple of days. Ooh, yeah. It's looking pretty tasty, isn't it? Yeah, totally. And you know what? A full disclosure, because you know what, guys? There's a lot of people that don't take credit, or sorry, that do take credit 
for everything that they, they post and they say, and they, they say it's theirs. See, I'm going to show you what a proper human being does. MIC was not my idea. No. It was a moderator in the room, Billy Mack. Yeah. It was his idea. And you know what? I don't even need to admit to that because he hit me up in DM and talked to me about MIC, wanted to know my thoughts. You know, there's a lot, and I hate to go off on a fucking tangent here, but there's a lot of fucking people out there, man. They like to po- they like to pass shit off as their own. Anytime, I, I'm not going to say every time, sometimes it slips my mind to be perfectly honest. And that is just the truth. It, it just slips my mind. I always try to give credit where credit is due. If it was somebody's idea, if it was somebody's, I don't know, if they had a conversation with me and then it, it sparked some sort of either a video lesson or even a fucking idea for, I don't know, a product, uh, uh, something else, I always give them credit. Like another, another prime example of that is I did a really good lesson on stop losses this weekend that if you watch a couple times and you really get with what I'm saying, it's like, it's, it's information that you would never hear anywhere else. I will fucking bet my bank account on that, that you will never hear that type of information anywhere, anywhere you won't. And it all stems from a conversation I had with a member through DM, a mentoring member, he asked me about stop losses, right? So then I go on to, to tell him about the stop losses and, and why, why certain stocks sell off really hard, okay? And it's predictable, okay? And it all has to do with certain stop losses, okay? But not stop losses like you and I think about them, all right? It, it's coming from somewhere else and no, it's not algos or fucking computer bullshit. It's got nothing to do with that guys. Quit blaming everything on fucking algos. Um, but anyways, I gave him credit in that, um, in that, um, you know, that video lesson because he, he kind of sparked the, the idea for it. You know, there's a lot of people, man. There's a lot of fucking people. I, f- I find it hilarious that I know the chain of events that really happened and then they're out doing fucking podcasts saying the exact same fucking things we are day in, day out. Somebody was tagged in a, in a Twitter fucking message with my name and told him to listen to my podcast a week later. He's fuck. Well, he was follow. He followed me on Twitter. Okay. Then he checks out my podcast and then a week later, what do you know? He starts up his own podcast. And what do you know? He's bashing Sykes now. He's all over Twitter bashing Sykes and the Furus and the Gurus. Almost word for word. An idea from guys. Yeah. Trick fucking trades. And I'm sick and tired of getting fucking ripped off. What you guys don't see is for a year, over a year straight, I've had people that have either fucking come in the room when it was a free room, steal my ideas. They they steal my ideas elsewhere. Then they say that it's their own, and it's not. Because if that was me, roles reversed, do you know what I would say in my first podcast? I would say, you know what? Thanks to this guy, you know what? I have, he seems like a pretty pretty good guy. We have a lot of the same thoughts. So listening to his podcast, I was like, yeah, you know what? I, I, I've got some thoughts on on the subject too. And you know what? I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut too. Fuck that. So thanks for coming out of the woodwork and putting your neck out on the line, bud. Yeah. You know, all it takes, you know, that's all it takes. Just, just, just fucking give a shout out, man. You know what you yeah. did and, and yeah. you can fucking deny it all you want, dude. Like you can, yeah. but it's like the chain you know, of events again, only makes yeah. sense that you did do that. And once again, I mean, it's so obvious that's what happened. Yeah. And it's so obvious they're doing it to get ratings and, and, uh, and uh, subscribers. And that's and, the thing. And I didn't, you know, and I no. get, now I get fucking blamed that that's why I'm doing, guys, no. I've been doing this since day one. That's why I started Trick Trades. I got fucking so sick and tired of the bullshit. And that, that's, I'm telling you, that's the God's honest truth. That's the, that's the, that's the fucking, that's the truth, man. It's not about subscribers. I just told you five minutes ago, I turned people away from my fucking room. I do it all the time. Do you think everyone that comes to trick trades gets in? Fuck that. No. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there trying to make the quick buck and th- these strategies do not fit that pattern. No. We're sorry, we're sorry, you know? No. Go somewhere else, you know? This is for serious traders only. 
Only, yeah. only. That's it. That's all we want. We want people that are dedicated in it for the long haul and have a head on their fucking shoulders. So if you fit that criteria, by all means, come on in. Come on in. You got, you'll always have a place to hang your hat. Always. But if you're coming for alerts and you want, you want fucking email, email alerts and text alerts and you know, you, you like, dude, no, 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 no. no. I, and you just want to make money. You have to hurry up and make money. Oh, I can't sign up for mentoring because I need to make money first. No, I, I don't want you. I don't want you. Yeah. I don't know of anyone else that would say that out loud. <laughs> You know, now they just take your money. That's it. So, you know, I didn't mean to get off on a rant there, but man, I, I am. After over a year of this shit, I am. I'm sick of it. I'm yeah. tired of it, Tino. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I just, no. I am. And it, it pisses me off because I know the type of person I am. Now, you guys can believe whatever the fuck you want, but people that know me, they know me. They know what I'm about. Yeah. They yeah, know I what I do for them. Well, when you called that guy out on a podcast, I listened to it and I couldn't believe I was so pissed because he was real. He was literally saying word for word what word. we've been saying for yeah. like literally word for word. Yeah. And so I went on his YouTube channel. I made a comment. I never comment, but I, I comment on that guy. I'm like, listen, you need, just need to get, give credit. I mean, come on. It's so obvious what's going on here. And you know, the thing is like people may see that is we're, we're trying to fucking stir the shit pile. And no, I don't want, I don't want any Twitter wars or YouTube. I don't want any of that. It's not about that guys. It's about doing the right fucking thing. You got to have some sort of moral compass, especially in this game, man. You know? Yeah. And that's why, I mean, look at, we're probably the only room out there and Pat's preaching that you got to, you got to go down in size right now, especially in the summertime. Don't yeah. plan on making a lot of money. No, it's summertime you know trading guys, you know? And, um, you know, all these other rooms are just telling you that, you know, you're going to make two, three, four, ten 10 grand, you know, come on in the summer right now. Yeah. With, with what just, uh, with president Trump, what he just tweeted last night. I think that's why everybody was on edge too. They're waiting for another tweet for him to come out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. what a crazy tweet he put out. Yeah. So yeah. that's got the market on edge, you yeah. know? So another good reason why, cause we've got, you know, we've got this uh, Twitter crazy president that uh, any minute he could post something that's going to just crash the market. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, we're in a scary time. Oh yeah, man. You know? Yeah. So it's the, this, if it's, if anything, if this is the best time to, to, to go down to size, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what have, what have I, what have I been saying in every pre-market plan of attack? We're only one tweet away from complete disaster. You small size. Yeah. Especially yeah, and, right now. And, and, you know, people are so, uh, you know, when they see these stocks, these big boy stocks, they're like, well, how do you, how can I make money if I go with small size? Well, I think Pat just proved it with his trade today. You don't need a lot of size. No. You know, and that's the beauty of these things. <clears throat> you know, um, I got it. I mean, if you would have, if you would have played a hundred, a hundred shares of Apple, you, you would have made 200 bucks. Well, what is that? Two grand? Mm -hmm. It was yeah. only a ten thousand dollar position, by the way, guys. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to put things in perspective because I did put a tweet out there. Okay, I made about sixty percent my money. Okay, no, sixty five, something like that. Whenever I took it off, I don't know. It was starting to pop up, so it's it's hard to say by the time it all cleared out because I was scaling out. But um, let's say you only put in a thousand dollars. Okay. You have a very small account. You only have a thousand dollar account. Okay. You put in a thousand dollars. All right. You would have made six hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's now crazy. let's say you only have a five hundred dollar account. Okay. So you put in your five hundred dollars. And what did you get out of it? You got about 340 bucks, something like that. Yeah. Do you realize what type of account growth is possible with that? You know, and people, you know, these fucking people that are out there that say, you know, oh, you just developing strategies to sell. Hey, you know what? This strategy is worth the fucking money. I know what my stuff, I know what my content is worth. I, ha I sleep very well at night knowing the type of content I put out. You know, I, I got no problems with that. I got no problems with people that, that, 
make money through education, but it better be good fucking education. See, people get me wrong on that. It's like, oh, fuck, you know, you call out these guys, but you're doing the same. It's like, nah, you can't, you can't fucking class me as those fucking guys. You can't. There's a reason why I have loyal followers and subscribers. Okay. My, my subscribers are fucking fanatics because we're a family. A lot of people like to throw that fucking word around, man. And it drives me nuts, man. It is though, really. Yeah. Oh no, it, it really you know? is. It really is. Like people are, they're floored by it when they come in the room. Just the support alone. Yeah. You know? It's amazing. Yeah. How many, how many new members have come in the room lately and say, wow, Pat, you've talked to me more in one day than my previous mentor did in a full year. Yeah, well, we had that one comment. It's actually on the testimonials page on tricktrades.com. If you go there and look at it, this guy was blown away that Pat actually answered a question that yeah, he asked. I, I do it every day, all day. <laughs> <laughs> so he's been used to going to places, and I've been in. We've been in. I think we've all been in those rooms. Nobody answers a question. They don't give a shit. You know, I mean, I've witnessed it firsthand. You know. Yeah. See, and it's funny because I've got so many. On another subject, I've just got another another post on Twitter. Somebody just wrote me, how many days did you hold the call options? How many days? No, I day trade them. No, no, no. That, that's just, that's just, that's an hour. I think I held that an hour or two. Yeah. You know, like yeah. people have been taught the wrong information. <laughs> how many times do I got to fucking say this before you guys actually come check us out? You know? I mean, if that's not an example of small size, I mean, come on. <clears throat> I mean, you guys, these new people out there that are listening to this podcast for the first time, I know it's scary. You look at these, these big boy stocks and I did it too. I was like, yeah. I can't afford that. I'm not going to make money. These things don't move. Man, was I blind. Yeah. Holy shit. You were told the, you were told the wrong information, oh, now, yeah. weren't you, Tino? Well, I, the first trade I made with you is I shorted GE, and GE had a float of over a billion. And my first thing to you was, how the fuck is this thing going to move when it's got a float of over a billion? Yeah. And sure enough, it did. Yeah. First day. Dude, I that's, that's number one. That's, that's, that's the very first thing you have. If, if you can take one thing out of this entire episode, guys, okay, just take this one thing, what I'm about to say. Float doesn't mean shit. You've been lied to. The only time it comes into play is when it's 10 million and under with these low flow garbage stocks. Stay the fuck away. They're no good. They're going to dump out on you. All it takes is some volume to go away and one big seller or one big buyer. You're done. Yep. What's the float in Apple? Mm, 5.1 billion. Billion with a B. Yeah. And you made 60% on your money. Yeah. Yeah. So, over 60, but yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah, crazy with small size. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's small size, guys. A, a 10, $11,000 position for me is fuck, that's that's nothing, that's nothing. You know, when I trade the equity side of thing, it isn't uncommon for me to have a million dollar position or hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in a position, yeah. Think, do the math on that. <laughs> yeah. Had I put in a million dollars, I would have made six hundred eighty thousand today. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's, is, all, it's all it's all about size. It's just wait, just wait until the market conditions stabilize, and I do start going in full size, guys. Yeah, you guys will you'll you'll call me out for being full of shit. That's how big the P and Ls will be. Yeah, and you know what helped me, and this is going to sound funny because people think I'm crazy, but. I learned a lot about reading charts from playing Amazon and that's probably one of the highest uh, price stocks we play, but yeah. that thing will move some days, 30, 40, 50 points. Yeah. And I play two shares. Yeah. You know what I mean? Two it, fucking shares. With, with no risk because when you take such small size on something like that, you're not risking anything. You're risking like a dollar or two. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Guys. That's it. That's it. And you bucks. can make, you can make, 60 to well over two, 300 bucks on Amazon easily oh, yeah. Oh, every yeah. day if you wanted to. Oh yeah. And just off of a couple of few shares guys. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. You guys have been lied to with size. Okay. You really have been. Especially you women out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. You know, you go to a hard hardware store with your woman and 
she's trying to describe the size of let's say a piece of wood or something and she holds out her fingers and goes like like four inches but it's never like a foot long (laughs) it's like that's right (laughs) first of all never do that to a guy (laughs) <laughs> don't, don't put your fingers up like that to a guy <laughs> it's a <little> intimidating because <laughs> yeah. what you got to get nervous at is if you're with a girl and she puts out her arms about three feet across you're like okay where's this girl been yeah. <laughs> do, do i want to get involved right now i don't know yeah no shit eh <laughs> <laughs> but no you know in all in all uh, seriousness guys i mean man you really have been lied to you've been lied to about a lot of things and i know i say that a lot but it's it's true it really is true you know number one the whole the whole float thing is ridiculous guys i mean facebook has a fucking float of you know 2.4 billion you know we we play float sizes in the billions and in the hundreds and hundreds of millions and it it makes no difference they have the same amount of volatility look at facebook after hours today you telling me that's not yeah. volatile as fuck yeah you know you know look at I just want to go back a second and look at MIC just for an example. Here's something that, here's an example for people out there. Yeah. So I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, 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 not at all. So here's, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Whatever. I'm I'm, I'm so sick of you right now. (laughs) I want to punch you right in the neck. (laughs) No, anyway, man, you look at MIC, right? God, this thing is right on the cusp of busting through this, uh, this gap. So take 50 shares, right? going to cost you a little over two grand just take a chance and this and mic moves so slow you can literally put 10 to 20 cent risk on it with no problem oh so you're going you go in 50 shares you're in for about a little over two grand and just let it let it let it simmer let let it marinate and see what happens if that thing does fill the gap you can make 2500 bucks easy yeah off of 50 off of two grand you know what i mean off yeah exactly guys exactly you know I mean, you don't need a lot of size to make money because that's another thing. I see people that are proud of trades (laughs) and then then you look at their entry and their exit price and it's like, wait a minute, that's like, that's like three cents. (laughs) Yeah, I know, (laughs) right? Fuck. I wouldn't know how to take a trade off for three cents. I know. (laughs) That's a spread on my stocks, motherfuckers. I know. That's That's ridiculous. Yeah. Or they're proud over like 10 cents or 15 cents. Get out of here. No, no, you're not. You can't be proud of that. Don't be proud of that. That, That's nothing to be proud of. Yeah. You you know, what's cool is when I was in that Amazon trade and earnings, it made, it went over a hundred points in 30 seconds. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And these guys are talking about 10 cents. Yeah. Like shit, 10 cents. Like I, I wouldn't know what to do with that, that 10 cents. I'm not even thinking about that yet. Yeah. Crazy. You know, I mean, all these stocks here, I mean, like you look at Facebook at the end of the day, I mean, granted that it did come out with news. They, they announced they're, they're going to open up, they're going to double their headquarters in, in Chicago. So the thing went up two points, two points in after hours. You know, so if you were in that, I mean, it was a solid play this morning. You know, it looked like a triple bottomed almost. If you look at it. Yeah. Cross, cross VWAP, you could have taken it there. Let it ride. I mean, who knows? I mean, small, small size would have, would have been awesome on that today. But because I mean, small size also, it, it really, it gives you a lot of patience to get that, that meat of the move. Yeah. You know, I've seen people use that term wrong too. Oh, I took the meat of the move. No, you didn't. You took fucking 10 cents, dude. You, that's not the meat of the move. Yeah. You know, like, <clears throat> man. You know, and here's another thing. You know, I, I remember this this one bullshit comment some by some fucking idiot. He, uh, he, he goes on to say, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it was actually on another trade on Apple where I caught a point and a half on it. He goes, yeah, but I was in, it was some penny stock. I don't remember. I don't give a shit. But it was some penny stock in, in stock XYZ and that moved a point. It's like, yeah, but how often do you take trades for a point on a penny stock? Right. Ass fuck. Yeah, exactly. I do this every day and it's a point minimum. Fuck sakes. Yeah. Now, like, if I, you think I'm proud over making a point on a trade on these stocks, I'm not. 
That's a, that's a small, that's a small win. That shows you just how spoiled people are and we are at Trick Tree. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say that. We're so used to it now. Yeah, man. Like people catch like 10, 20 point moves. Like yeah. weekly, weekly. Yeah. You know, I, I, we had a conversation a couple of days ago about letting the last piece ride. And you want to talk about small size making a your biggest gains. I mean, you want to go into that first sec, Pat, when – we were talking about that on the phone the other day when, you know, you say you're piecing out your, your position and um, you got like a quarter left and you just let that go to see where it'll go. That can make a, the biggest part of your gains, can it? Yeah. And yeah. It, I mean, there's size. definitely more to the exit part of the strategy than just that, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, y- you always want to leave on a small piece. Some people have a hard time. I gave one of the members shit for it. Um, this member was, you know, kind of pissed off that, you know, Baba um, pulled back. And if this member was still in, you know, would have, would have made X amount, but she waited on the pullback and is what it is. Right. But it's like, no, you don't understand what, what that last quarter is about that last you've already paid yourself on the trade. That trade in your mind is over. That quarter is only to hit the home run. That's it. Because That's how I hit these fucking home runs. You leave a little piece on and you let it run and you let it work and you let it pull back and you let it rip up and you let it pull back and then you let it push to the end of the day and then you take it off. And then you make, that's where you make your fucking money guys. You make a lot of money doing that. It's about, it's about milking that cow. It's about, you know, especially for you, for you new traders, you like, man, so many people come in the room that still, they all, every single one, I don't think I've met too many members that have come into trick trades that don't have a scalp mentality. Quit scalping shit. We're traders. Scalping isn't trading in my, in my opinion. That's, that's scalping. You want to be a day trader, right? You want to be a trader, right? Learn to hold through these pullbacks. It's about... Selling on pushes, adding to dips, selling on pushes, add, trade that stock like a badass. Make it your bitch. I can teach you how. I'll show you how. You know? Yeah. But yeah, it's just, no, so many, it's just, th- there's a certain way to do things, guys. Right? And a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these services, they're, they're not going to tell you all their little tricks. They, they don't want that. They don't want someone actually trading their strategy. I got no problem sharing information. Guys, go to my YouTube channel. Look at that free content I give away. Shit. You, you could fucking start your career with that content. Yeah, easily. You know, and then people bust my balls about having a service. Are you fucking serious, man? Do you realize the free, level, the free content we put out? I mean, on Netflix, if, had you just been listening to the podcast, you would have made fucking huge money. You know, go to my YouTube channel. Look up Trick Trades on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel. Go check that out, man. I mean, pfft. there's so much content out there, man. So I give so much free content, and it's, and it's quality. And that's just the free shit. That's just the free stuff, guys. People are blown away by my video lesson library. They, they're, they're blown away. And that's just the guidance video lesson library, not even the mentoring video lesson library. That's a whole nother, that's next level shit. You know, <clears throat> yeah, I, I really, I, another thing I really like about your whole strategy about, you know, piecing out, I know there's other, there's other parameters of it, but what's great about it is after you pay yourself and you let that last piece ride, there's no, there's really no emotion. No, test. there's none. There's you none. Don't you care. don't care because, because you know that you're setting a stop now for break even. Right. Right. You set you stop for break even, you let it run. And it doesn't matter if it comes all the way down and stops you out. Who gives a shit? You've already paid yourself three quarters of the trade. Yeah. That would that was your trade. The rest is just milk money, man. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And a lot of these stocks will generally push into the end of the day. Or, you know, if it double tops around, you know, two thirty PM or something, then yeah, just just take it off. Yeah. Right. No, no biggie, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing that with Amazon right now. Like I made about 60 points on it and I left a few shares on it. For for the last week there's been a few shares riding on it that I don't care, you know. No, I don't no, care what it's doing. 
Yeah. You know, it's cool. It's going up. It's going down, whatever. Yeah. There's, you know, but I think I'm looking long term. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it on there. I think it's definitely going to go to 2000. At some I, point. Yeah. It's going to magnet to 2000. It, I mean, stocks yeah. have a magnet. It, it really should. It may fuck around around this 1800 level for a while, but yeah. No, it, it should push to 2,000. It should. I mean, Amazon loves whole round numbers. Loves yeah. it. Yeah. And, you know, I'm watching this every day and I don't even care. Like, no. I just look at it and whatever it's doing. I already paid myself on it. So, if it goes to two grand, great. If it goes all the way back down and, and, and stops me out at break even, I already made my money anyway. Who cares? You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. That's what I really like about that strategy. It's, yeah, man. I mean, it, it works. It works great. It works yeah. great. And I've been preaching that since day, day one of trick trades. Since yeah. day one of trick trades, I've said to let that last quarter ride. Yeah. And paying yourself, right? You know? Absolutely. Proper information, guys. Good <clears throat> quality content. I got no problems with services that are out there that provide good content and good quality education. At the end of the day, that's what a sh service should be about. It should be about the education, not fucking alerts and all that garbage. And yeah, that's right. I've been saying this shit for over a year now. Yeah, and I wish, you know, when I joined, um, you know, I, when I joined Sykes back there last year, I wish somebody would have said, you know, the best thing for you to do is just, just go, go small right now. But no, they're like, oh, 1,000 shares, 1,000, 5,000 shares. That's all they kept talking about. So I thought yeah. that was the right thing to do. Man, I, w I, you know, I blew up my account super yeah. fast. Yeah, man. You yeah. know, I just, because I didn't know any better. I wish yep. somebody would have said, you know, you should, you know, size down and, and take it slow and, and see how you do. But no, nah, that, that wasn't the mentality with all these fucking idiots. So. No, no, exactly. Yeah. So I did what everybody did usually does when they start you blow up your account i did it yeah. so I, I joined the club yeah you know we all have to go through it yeah exactly but exactly but that's taught me a lot and, and it's given me patience and i'm still playing small size now you know and i and i'll continue to until i feel comfortable you know that's right it doesn't matter because it, it doesn't matter I, i'm looking till when i'm 70 80 years old that's <laughs> i'm not even kidding that's what i'm looking at yeah you know it's a long game guys it's the long game. Yeah. Right? Don't be in a rush for this shit, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And cut that shit out with float. You fucking Yeah, know man, heads. that was an eye-opener. Holy shit. Yeah. Fucking I mean, like, today's example is perfect, man. Apple's over five, 5 billion, did you say? Yeah. 5 billion, and you made 60% on your money on a 5 billion floater. You know? Yeah. That's, that, go tell that to Penny Stock World and see what they say. Yeah, they, 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 they fucking brains oh, really? will explode. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Right? You know, and it's funny, guys. I want the new the new traders that are out there. I hope you guys realize you're also brainwashed by Twitter, thinking that everyone trades penny stocks. The majority of people trade penny stocks. We touched on that in the last episode. I'm telling you, nobody fucking trades penny stocks, man. Very few people in the market trade penny stocks, and it's for a reason. It's for a reason. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make money. Of course you can. Of course you can. But it's, it's definitely not for new traders. It's not. I still trade penny stocks from time to time. But it's got to be on the, on the one or two setups that I have that I wait for. And when I see them, then I'll go, then I'll go fucking trade them. And I'll fucking kick ass. But yeah. I kick ass regardless each and every day on fucking stocks like Apple and NVIDIA and, and Facebook. The, the stocks that fucking Sykes tells you you don't have an edge. Oh, you don't have an edge, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. And how the fuck am I doing this? Off of, off of simple setups and sim completely simple, completely simple. It doesn't get simpler than today when you, when you showed me your entry on that, man, yeah. I wish I, I wish I took that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you even say Apple loves double bottoms. Yeah. And the whole way down, the whole way down on Apple, I'm saying guys, wait, Apple's coming down. Watch his double bottom. Watch his double bottom. Okay. It's at the double bottom. Watch it here. There she goes. Oh, you didn't get in. You're too late. And you know, you could have had an order out there. Yeah, man. At that double bottom. And if you would have just set a, a stop for 25, 30 cents, you would have been golden. Yeah. You know? Good to go. 
Yep. Because it wouldn't have stopped out. You would have you would have made some serious money. Yeah, man. Rode that bitch all day. Paid yeah. on the first push, gave you some patience. Now let it do its thing. Let it let it cook. Let it cook. Yeah. But you know what, guys? On that note, um, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Um, you know, just to kind of recap tonight, you know, don't worry about flow, don't worry about uh share size size down especially in this market and especially while you're learning you're not going to make money while you're fucking learning guys because you're going to have a lot of losses and a lot of stupid losses and a lot of emotional losses and you're going to have to counteract that by using small size so for the time being use small size don't worry about it you can still make money using small size i prove it you know so yeah but uh but yeah, folks, you know, go go check out tricktrades.com and go to the testimonials page. Not That's the one cool on the home page, but the actual testimonials page. You'll see what people are, are writing about us. You yeah. Know. And uh, hey, Pat, you want to go over SoundCloud real quick? How we're kind of migrating away from there? <clears throat> yeah. So for those of you that follow us on SoundCloud, the Follow Shelter podcast on SoundCloud, make sure to migrate over to Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. Uh, you can just look up Trick Trades there. You can also find us on Spotify. But yeah, we're going to be getting rid of uh, uh, SoundCloud. Um, yeah, we don't feel comfortable with leaving our podcast there. Um, you know, they got financial issues and bullshit. They're probably going to be out of business here in about a year or so. So we want to start. We just want to migrate over to a, a more sound, secure uh, hosting site. So make sure to follow us on Libsyn. Go to Libsyn.com, L-I-B-S-Y-N. Um, look up trick trades there and uh, yeah hope to see you guys again yeah and remember uh, another month left in the um, consistency challenge yeah you uh, betcha that's still going strong and uh, like like Pat said go to our website tricktrades.com you can go to the podcast page and you'll see all the links available you can follow us everywhere we're everywhere Apple Podcasts Google Play Stitcher Libsyn Spotify you'll find all the links there just click on it okay folks on that note have a good evening, and cool. we, will, we will see you next time. Adios, folks. Peace. Later, Tino. Later, buddy.